Hey guys, and welcome back to my tutorial slash let's play. Now, today, I didn't really do much while you guys were gone. I didn't actually do anything. I showed you guys that, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this. But, um, today I'm going to show you the rest of farming. We're going to talk about biomes, and then I'm going to try to build my real house. Because right now, this is just a bit of a small base of operations, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to grab this hoe, grab the seeds, and then first we'll do the farming, considering I got some of that done um, last time. So, for farming, you always want a hoe like I showed you. You need a hoe, and then you need seeds. Seeds you can get by punching the grass, the tall grass, and you will eventually get a seed, like that. You could do this with any tool. You could do it with a sword. You could do it with a shovel if you really feel like it. You could do it with the hoe. But I mean, I'd rather do it with my hands because it could deplete the energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our own little farm over here. Now you want it by water, but I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be by water. So what you want to do is right click the ground like I showed you. Make a little design if you really feel like it. And what you want to do is grab the seeds and then right click on the soil see that just got hydrated which I will talk about next you want to right click on the soil with the seeds in your hand and it will plant them and then you just keep planting them until all of them are gone now as you see the the ground is getting um, darker which means it's getting hydrated which means that the plants will grow faster now they could grow on soil that's not hydrated like say if I put a seed over here that will grow perfectly fine that will grow perfectly fine all you need to do is really grow this by water to make it better but it will grow fine if you don't really have any water next to you so then once it's done you can collect it like I showed you you could just punch it with your hand or axe or whatever you feel like it collect it. Now villages start off with them so I don't really think I need to worry about this right here but I can still keep it just for now. And that's how you farm basically. It's not really the most efficient way to get food. It's more efficient to get animals and kill them and stuff but I mean they run out. Animals will deplete but your food source of wheat won't. So and plus bread doesn't even heal that much so not really much use in it but Eh, if you don't really feel like eating meat or you're a vegetarian in real life and want to be a vegetarian in Minecraft, then why not? Why not? So, now, as I said, we're going to be talking about biomes. Biomes, like this, right here that I'm standing in, this is just a plain, it's, pl it's a plain, it's a plain land biome. Which, it, which just means that there's no trees, just tall grass and like more like, um, not many hills, but some hills, and not many mountains. That's what it means. And villages will spawn in them. Now over there, that's a forest biome. Well, not like the deep forest, it's just more like um, a normal forest. Kind of like, uh, I call them tree biomes, because forest biomes is, um, the other is a different biome that I can show you guys later. But this I call a tree biome. It's it's really called a forest biome. And then there's a taiga biome. It's not T I G G E R. It's not that. It's not tiger. It's taiga, which is T I G A, and that means snow. So it's it's a snowy biome basically. Snow biome as we call it. Most Minecrafters. Over there, that is called a jungle biome, and we were lucky enough to spawn next to one. Now, this has just recently been added. Oops, my arm. Has just been recently added to the snapshots. It hasn't even come out yet. This is the very. I think this might be only the third snapshot or something with it, and like fifth maybe, not even. And it's really cool. You, the, um, different types of mobs will spawn in it. Only one, but I mean, it's very cool get a pet but I won't talk about that until we actually go explore it 
let me think. There's regular forest biomes. Not like um the other ones. There's regular ones. Like um well the tiger biome has snowy trees, like pine trees and stuff. The regular forest biome will have just pine trees, it won't have any snow for some reason, I don't know why. But then there's a desert biome and those also spawn villages. I haven't seen a village spawn inside a jungle biome, inside a mountain biome, which is the next thing I was going to cover, inside a regular forest biome, inside of one of those um, tiger biomes. I've never seen them spawn in them. I think they usually just spawn in plain biomes or desert biomes, so you just want to try to... What the heck? That looked different to me. I don't know why. But... So after that, I think we covered basically all of them, except for the mountain biome. The mountain biome is just that. It has a ton of mountains with cliffs and stuff, and it's really cool. I like the mountain biome. It's one of my favorites. But, I mean, we have three biomes around us, right? Actually, four. I like that one over there. So far, it's just four biomes, and I can go looking for them in a different episode, but just not this one, because I need to make an actual house. Or else I will probably freak out because I don't like I don't like living in these hidey holes for very long. Well, I didn't actually make a hidey hole considering I spawned so close to a village. And the music is playing. Is it loud? Let me check. Oh, I accidentally pressed up one. No, it's thirteen. That will be fine. Oh yeah, F one. That will make you go into cinematic mode where you won't see your cursor or anything. F5 will make you go into third person mode and you can do cinematic mode while it so it looks cooler. And then if you press it again, it'll see your face. Then you go like that. That. Okay. That I just wanted to show you that. And then you can take screenshots with F2 and F3. Oh, seed, seed, seed. Oh, I can write this down real quick. This is so I could put it in the Wait one second, I'm writing down the seed. Four, four, three, five, two, two, six, five. No, no, no. Four, zero, seven, seven, five, five, eight. Okay. Now you guys will get the seed. But this will usually just give you, like, um, how much FPS you're getting and stuff like that. And, like, what level you're on your coordinates, stuff like that. But I mean, it's not really useful when the, this is covering the entire screen, so I don't know what that is, but I actually got the seed, so I'll be able to write it down in this description. Yay! Finally! So you guys will be able to play along. But you will have to watch my first and second video to do what you really want. Like, if you really want to follow me, then you have to look at my first and second video first. Don't step on Testificate. Go inside. Okay. It's becoming nighttime, so they're all gonna run to their houses. All of them are running. Okay, so I'm gonna just wait through the night and we'll try and I'll teach you guys how to make some tools, I guess. Some different tools other than like these five. I can show you how to make a bucket and some shears because I have exactly enough for it so a bucket you make out of a U basically kind of like a three way I don't know I don't know but it makes a bucket that makes a bucket this if you add two more iron to the corners that will make you a mine cart which isn't really useful right now we are going to take the bucket so and this is how you make shears. Put one on each corner. You could also do it like this. If you really feel like it. But this is the real recipe. And that makes you shears. And I showed you guys some armor. I didn't get to show you guys all of it. Buckets and shears are probably two of the most important tools. Buckets you can use to pick up stuff like water and lava. And if I can go outside real quickly without dying. I could show you. Just right click the water or lava, 
and then you grab it into your bucket. And to place it back, you just right click where you want to place it. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is a bit bleh. But, um, and then the shears, what you do, there's no sheep around here. I'll show you guys these in a different episode then. Because there's no sheep around here, so I'll show you guys what they do in a, in a different episode. Don't worry. I'll just show you how to make them first. Okay. So now, I am going to come back to you guys when it is daytime. Okay? I will see you then. Bye-bye. Ah, she been ya, mama feast, ya mama. Hen ya, nya, nya, hen ya, nya. Hen ya, nya, nya, hen ya, nya. Good morning, everyone watching, I guess. But today, the new morning, we are. I decided during the night that we weren't gonna build a house today. We were gonna do that probably in the next episode. Today. I think I'm going to make a cow farm. So, I'm going to need to show you how to make a couple things. First, we're going to have to go chop some wood. This episode might be a bit long. But, oop. oh yeah, I threw these out because I didn't really want them. Although, I'm kind of debating on keeping you. It's snowing outside for some reason. Bleh, goalie sword. But, we're going to have to go out and cut some wood down, so that's what I'm going to do. And if you guys want to, you can stay or cut through the video, but I'm going to keep this all on tape. Because I know people like to watch the entire thing, and this is a let's play, so. So, when we're done cutting down wood, I'm going to show you guys how to make fences. And once you guys are done learning how to do that and stuff, we are going to start capturing yeah capturing capturing cows and making them free so that we have tons of cows a unlimited supply of leather and beef and steak and stuff and food and yumminess yes i just said that all but once we're done i think we need about a stack almost i'll go for half a stack because it's easy to get it and i don't want to cut down the entire tree population that'd be bad Bad, bad, no, no, all the tree lovers would kill me. Zappos do look better on this for some reason. I don't know why. Plant you there, because that's where your brother was. Was. He died. I killed him. But, once we are done cutting down the wood, I think this should be enough. I'm just going to replant these woods so that... One there. And then there should be one back here. Come oh, on, give me a sapling. Give me a sapling or I die! Come on, please. I don't want to be killed by eco friendly people. Where is this happening? Yay, thank you. No death for me. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna go bring this wood back. I'm going to show you guys how to make. First, kill this thing. Pretty, 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 come back. Come back. There we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to make fences. No, no. You could also eat raw meat, but don't eat raw chicken because you can get salmonella. Salmonella. But it also doesn't heal as much. I forgot to mention that in the last episode. Okay, so now let's make some fences. Now you want to go up to your crafting table. Now you don't need to do this in your crafting table, but you want to convert all the wood down into planks. And then you want... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Ooh, darn it. Then you want to convert the mo most of them. Leave some for um wood that you're going to probably need later on. But you're going to convert this down into sticks and then you're gonna take all your sticks fill up your crafting tables first two rows or first top rows and then you'll get fences fences yield two now you supposed 
I just did this because I'm going to need tons of them. 32. I think that should be fine for now. Put these sticks away. Now. 32. That should be fine. But if it's not, then I'll just come back and make more. Now. A fence is a really useful material. It's a block, basically. Except it's a bit different. Because right here, see, there's no hitbox out. It doesn't extend an entire block, it just it's the post. But it's apparently one and a half blocks high, so nothing can jump over it except for spiders. Spiders can climb up things, so that's why. But, what we're going to need to do, considering this isn't like a Tale of Kingdoms mod or anything, and I will get into mods a little bit later into this series, but considering this isn't like the Tale of Kingdoms mod, they're not going to like make more stuff in the village and then end up deleting my farm, so I don't have to worry about where I place it. Well, too much at least. Okay, so what you want to do is right click on the ground and you'll get the fence post. And it will only be one until you place one next to it, or a block, and it will reach out and grab. And then, you want to leave an opening for something else that I'm going to show you how to make. may need two of this something, I don't know. Debating on how you want it to look. Now this one's going to be a bit longer than it is. I mean a bit wider than it is long. Because I mean. Get out of here, testy. Uh, please don't tell me any of them saw that. Because you're not supposed to be kill the villagers or else the... Just if it goal and guys get mad at you. Do you want me to capture you in here? Because I don't want to capture you in here. Get out. There. Okay. So now, see the cows? The way you attract them is with wheat. You only need one piece for this, but I had four because I need to breed them. But see, this cow comes straight at me. If I put wheat in my hands, any animal will follow me. Except for test targets, because they aren't animals. Okay, you just want two. You could put more in if you really want to, but right now you just want two. Okay. Now you want to just bring them in here. No, Miss Little Testificate. Get out. Testificate. Testificate. I like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is leave them. You want to just put up a fence. There you go. And now I'm going to just keep these cows in here. I'm going to light up the area a bit with some torches. These are my domesticated farm animals. The best animals in the entire world. Mr. Testificate is looking at some. He's like, what are you doing to these animals? He must be from PETA. He must be. Okay. Well, now you want to make something else, which I'm going to show you how to do as soon as I get back to my little hidey hole. Hello, person. Okay. I'm going to pause this for a second, just because my grandma's coming down and I don't want to bother you guys with talking. Okay, one second. Okay, so now I got out my chest four sticks, two planks. That's what you need to make this. I just put the wheat up there for a reason. Now you want to arrange them in this order. You want to put two wooden planks on top of each other right in the middle of the crafting table. You could also do it up here if you feel like it. Then you want to put the four sticks around these two wooden planks. And then you'll get a fence gate. Look at that. Now this you can place no. What the hell? That looks really demented. You can't left click open this. You can only right click to open it for some reason. I don't know why. Because you can left click and right click open doors. I hate stupid nighttime. I might have to cut this again. Nope, I'm just going to run and place it. Run and blurs, run and blurs. Oh my goodness. No, I can work. Break this. Okay, so I have a piece of fence back. 
So what you want to do next is after you have the cows corralled and everything like that, and the fence gates are in, you want to go up to the cows with the wheat and right click on each of them. That will put them in love mode. And then avert your eyes if you want me to. But that will make a baby cow. They'll become a mommy and daddy cow and make a baby cow. The baby cow will grow up and be a big cow someday. And then these guys can go at it again if they really want to, but I don't have enough wheat. So. And the baby cow, once he grows up, you'll get beef and leather off him too, just like you would off the mom and dad. And that's why you want to keep doing that, because then you can have a ton of baby cows that will grow up and you can end up killing them and get their food and stuff. It's a really good, really good way of getting food and stuff. Might catch us meow. What's wrong? What's wrong? I hear the spider, and please don't tell me he's up here. He'll be trying to. Okay. Mr. Spider, get out of here. Okay. Well, I guess I can demonstrate combat while I'm waiting for night, for morning. No combat? You just want a sword or any, what, any tool in your hand, even your fist? Now all you have to do is left click and it will send a big fist of fury or whatever you're using at them and it will hit them and hurt them. And they will also take fall damage. There's so many of them down there. Holy crap. The way the string. I just need one more string and then I can show you something really cool. Oh, is that a spider eye? I want the spider eye. The zombie and skeleton AI has improved over the time that they were waiting while they were making the snapshots. So zombies can now apparently open doors, will break down doors in hard difficulty, even iron doors, I think, unless they fix that bug, in hard difficulty. And also, zomb and they will be able to run around blocks now, so they won't just get like caught on something and just go <laughs> they won't do that they will walk around it and just go or they will if it's too big they'll just jump over it fences that's a different story my cat is attacking my keyboard stop it no it's okay go away you're a good kitty but oh my god this is very difficult i can't move for a little while because i have to pet her or else she won't go away but I guess I can talk while I'm waiting. So, what you want to do is. Oh, cat, stop it! You're. Eh, go away, please. Thank you. Okay. And then skeletons, their AI has improved so that they can run around blocks now, too. And so can creepers, which is very bad. Very, very bad news. But. Skeletons can run around blocks as well as the zombies can and the creepers. And if they, and I think this also works with zombies, but if they start to burn in the sunlight, they'll run. I don't want to answer that. Run and start and find shelter in either water or shade. And I think that's pretty cool and everything because that means that there won't be tons of skeletons and zombies burning outside and you won't hear <laughs> clink 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 oh, no, it gets annoying Seventy cool. okay i'm gonna put some of this coal into some torches because i only have four left doop, doop, doop. my cat is still near me and she really wants me to pet her for some reason Sixty-four torches. Yay. Okay. So, since it's night time, I really don't got anything more to tell you guys about. Because next episode, we're going to be doing the house and everything. And then I'll show you how to harvest food. And maybe we'll add on to it. Maybe we'll put some sheep in there or some, some um, chickens or something like that. Pigs, maybe. So, yeah.
Oh yeah, and one more thing I want to say. Once you have the cows or whatever animal you've picked corralled, as long as you have two of them, you can go around killing all the cows and whatever or whatever animal animal you have. You can go around and kill them all except for the ones in your pens. So because they won't respawn if you, once you kill them anymore, they won't really respawn. Not not many will, and it's kind of annoying, but. It gets it's it makes sense because I mean once you kill off animals in a certain area they don't come back in real life so that's why you always want two so that you can have them mate and make little bobby cows and the bobby cows can mate and then you can kill the parents and the, then once the bobby cows have babies of their own the bobby cows can die so yeah it, it works out for the better I guess for the good of all. So, I am MGD899, I am apparently floating, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!